Today I'm going to be slapping that. Nah, I'm not going to say that, but I am talking about bass guitar. Now, I absolutely love bass, but I'm primarily a guitar player. But the truth is, I actually write a lot of my songs on bass guitar. Now, if you're struggling to get good tones in your mixes, well, I've got a plugin that you're going to want to check out. I am The Lonely Rocker, this is I Don't Have a Band, and welcome to my home studio. Today we're talking about Quick Bass from United Plugins. This is the second plugin in a series from the Instant Audio team that gives you a one-stop shop for a specific instrument. Quick AG was for acoustic guitar, well Quick Bass is for your bass guitar. Now if you think about the main components that go into shaping a really good bass tone, you're going to think about EQ, compression, and saturation. They're all included in this one plugin. Now I love plugins that help me get the job done faster. Not not do it for me, but help me do it faster. And Quick Bass is designed to do that for you. Now there's enough tweakability in this plugin that you certainly can shape the tones and make them your own, but you're going to get your tones faster and I think you're going to be pretty happy with the results. Well, the best way to see what it does is let's jump in and check out Quick Bass from United Plugins. <laughs> Well, now that I've done my best impression of a bass player, let's check out Quick Bass from United Plugins. Uh, much like last time, sort of my first impression, the plugin looks like something an inventor would have created, so uh, kind of interesting. But let's take a look at the different sections and the different features of the plugin. Uh, along the bottom, we've got sort of the standard fair input and output, so you can control the levels coming into the plugin and going out. Very important, uh, really is for gain staging. Uh, nice big VU meters, uh, always good to be able to keep uh, an eye on the levels in and out. Uh, right here, and I'm going to say this right near the top, uh, there's one thing to be said about creativity and effort that goes into creating plugins, but it's sort of the after development that really um, impresses me with United Plugins because there's no shortage of presets. And while maybe you're not going to spend a whole day or your whole session using presets, it certainly helps to get to know the plugin, especially for the first time. And and really gives you a good starting point and you can build from there. And I think that's really the strength of the United Plugins offering is the care they put in after the development of the plugin. And these presets are really, really invaluable. All sorts of different flavors here, whether you are uh, play bass with your fingers or your pick, uh, good starting points and actually good crossover sometimes as I'm going to show you in my examples uh, where I took a finger bass, but I used sort of a pick bass uh, setting to bring out some articulation and a little aggressiveness in, in the playing. But anyway, so lots of presets here uh, to choose from. Uh, let's work our way up here. Uh, right in the middle, sort of the heart of the plugin, is the EQ section. And it's really interesting the way it's been laid out because, again, you can choose different flavors depending on the style of bass that you're mixing into your tracks. You've got finger, slap, uh, millerize, uh, you bass players, I don't think I have to tell you what that stands for. No, it has nothing to do with beer. And pick. And you can 
cross pollinate them as well. Just because you're using a pick doesn't mean you have to use a pick setting. Again, I'm going to demonstrate that uh, in my samples. Uh, but you've got a low cut and a high cut, uh, standard fare. And then you've got to your base, mids, and highs, all in terms of percentage that you can dial in. And then there's sort of that de swap, sort of those lower mids where you can find a lot of mud in the bass guitar. You can clean them up nicely with uh, one dial here. Working around the bass here, we've got the doubler section here. Uh, the doubler is really great. Again, I'm going to demonstrate that, but to really want to fatten up that bass or make it a real obvious chorusy sounding almost uh, really thick and almost futuristic love the doubler feature you can turn that on and off and you can also dial it into taste uh, the sub bass so you can bring in those really low end frequencies if you want to really warm up bottom end really sort of make a big that big bottom sound uh, you again you can dial that to taste uh, the compressor this is a feature we've seen in a number of plugins from United plugins is the ability to blend different styles of compressors uh, there's three styles here you got the very mu or sort of your tube compressor uh, opto and and FET compressor, but then the dial allows you to dial in between them. So you can sort of get interesting blends between the different styles of compression, get some really interesting results. Of course, you can dial in the amount of compression you want, and there is a release setting here. So you have really good control here on the compressor to get it just right to, to your taste. And the saturation. Saturation is really the secret weapon of bass tone, in my opinion. Uh, I come from sort of a classic rock, so uh, really an old Ampeg amp that sounds like it's about to explode. Uh, that's where I think the distortion needs to be. Uh, but you you can dial in the amount of saturation that you want here and you've got the uh, the dry wet here so you can blend in that saturation to taste and really that's it i mean you've got all the key elements of shaping a bass tone here your eq your compression your saturation on top of having the doubler and the sub bass really it's a whole suite for your bass guitar all right let's dissect those samples that i showed you off the top Okay, in this first example, I'm using a finger bass style, but this is where I was talking about that cross-pollination. I started with the, the deep pick preset. Now, I'm not a very aggressive player with my fingers, and I wanted to bring up some articulation and attack that I just wasn't getting with my fingers. So using the deep pick setting sort of brought up that, uh, that little edge that I wasn't getting. And this is what I'm talking about, that just because I'm playing finger bass doesn't mean I have to use a finger bass preset. Uh, using this uh, deep pick setting uh, really brought up some additional aggressiveness that I wanted in the track. A little roll off on the top in the bottom and uh, de-swamping a bit on this one. And a little bit on the sub bass, again, just wanted to bring up some thickness on the bottom end. Not too much, but uh, this really is a handy feature just really to, to fatten up that bottom end. Uh, the compressor, uh, using almost an opto setting with a little bit of Veramu left in the mix, just found a nice blend there and uh, re reasonably quick release there. And really, really important to this sound is saturation. So uh, having quite a bit of saturation in there, but the ability to mix in with the original signal so you can just find that that sweet spot uh, for the bass guitar. Um, that's pretty much it for this setting. Uh, let's take a listen to it. Right, in this next example, uh, I've used a pick on the bass, and I've started with the rock pick one setting. Actually, a little side note, I recall an interview with Rudy Sarzo. Uh, if you watch clips of him, uh, he plays with his fingers, but he said in the studio sometimes he would use a pick just to get you know more aggressive attack and articulation. Interesting from a bass player that does use his fingers. My preference are players that use their fingers. I'm not a big pick bass player kind of guy, uh, but uh, certainly comes in handy when you're recording in the studio, again, to get some good clarity and attack on the bass. So uh, we are using the pick on this one and I'm using the rock pick one setting we're going full pick on this one uh, what's really the feature of this setting is I've introduced the doubler uh, it's a really really cool feature it creates almost this thick swampy chorusy effect really really love it uh, you turn it on you can dial that to taste you know we're about 40% here not too much but you'll see uh, the dynamics and intrigue that it brings to this uh, bass sound again uh, with the compressor uh, we're using closer to the FET compressor on this one just dialed back a little bit I guess a little Little blend of the opto uh, pretty similar compression settings on the amount and the release and as per usual love my saturation on the bass guitar uh, let's take a listen to it
All right, it's Miller time. Uh, we're going full slap on this one. I think I almost broke my finger doing that. That's not me in my natural habitat, but I certainly love slap bass. Uh, the Millerized profile here. If you notice, they've grayed out the mids here. I don't know what's hiding in there, but there's some secret sauce in the Millerized profile. Uh, I don't ask any questions. I just like how it sounds. Uh, from there, uh, we don't need any doubler. Uh, definitely sub bass. We're bringing up a lot of bottom end. Compression is definitely key in slap bass. I mean, that signal is all over the place. Uh, almost uh, almost at noon, just a little before here. Uh, we're close to the opto setting with maybe a little hint of FET and uh, a slower release time on this one. Uh, on saturation, I, I brought in a little more saturation that was recommended for a slap profile. Again, I really love saturation in the bass guitar. It really helps in a full mix. I know here we're just listening to the bass against drums, but saturation is something that really works across all different tracks just to carve out a little space and character for that track. But I just love me some distortion on the bass guitar and that's it let's take a listen to it Quick Bass from United Plugins. I absolutely love this plugin. They actually sent it to me. I was working on another track and it was almost finished. And I just thought, what the hell? I'm gonna throw it on the bass guitar. And wow, blew my mind. It just fattened up that tone immediately. And I was hoping to share it with you uh, in this video, but the song's not quite ready. Uh, when it does, I will add it to the description or perhaps you'll just find it later on my channel. Well, Quick Bass really did it for me, but uh, don't just trust my opinion. United Plugins does offer free trials on all of the plugins. So I'm gonna put a link in the description. Uh, make sure to check it out. And if you do, let me know in the comments. Well, if you're new to this channel, I hope I've earned a subscribe. I've got a ton of content on this channel, a lot of it revolving around this home studio, here to the home studio enthusiast and the home recording musician with the videos to hopefully help make your home studio life better. So perhaps go ahead and just click that subscribe button and come along for the ride. If you really want to support this channel, I am on Patreon. Links to everything I've discussed and some things I haven't are in the description below. And above all else, I hope I'll see you again in another video. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And please like, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay up to date. Remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. There are a lot of great musical projects you can do by yourself, right from your own home. I hope to see you again next time.